the voice is not coming. We are live. Hello, guys. How can you hear me? Yes, you're audible. Perfectly fine. Ariane, hello, Ariane. Hello, Ankit. Uh, hi, Jose. Can you Jose. hear me and see me well? All is good? Ho Jose is here as well. Yeah, great. That was good. That was good. So amazing. I can't uh, see and hear Amit. Amit, can you please reel again? Okay. And yeah. I think all will be good soon. And a couple of minutes and we will start. Yeah, I mean, I was good. I can see you. But, and uh, can hear you right now, I think. Please say something. Hello. Yeah, all is good. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us today on this uh, first Boomerang webinar that we plan to run weekly on a regular basis. And uh, today on this meeting, I plan to discuss about the main features and uh, main values of Bumiragmi project. But before I want to introduce myself, my name is Mike. I'm CEO and founder of Bumiragmi. And uh, for the last 12 years, I've been running and managing my own digital agency with 54 employees and around $2 million in annual revenue. So yeah, it, it, was, a, it was a huge, huge experience for me. And uh, we can achieve many, many goals with my last team. But uh, what I am totally understand that I'm totally burned out in the service business and decide to run a product company because I, at, the t at the same time, I think it's the most interesting way to do in the business. And uh, yeah, so basically uh, we are working with the different type of customers in our agency, starting from the small local businesses and up to huge enterprises and even in government companies and uh, we deliver different type of uh, services and products for them it was a uh, website development marketing campaigns um, strategies design or something else and uh, what i figured it out from uh, local business owners by the 12 years i totally understand that they are not a professional marketers and they are asking us for new customers, new leads, and new marketing campaign, and again and again, but they do not think about the retention. And uh, we are, as a marketers, we know that retention is a key point for all local businesses. And uh, this is basically why I decided to run product in loyalty segment to help local businesses retain their clients, get more revenue from them, and uh, became a successful with our product as well. So this is the basics. And uh, Amit, can you turn on your camera and microphone? And um, let me introduce you. Amit is our sales leader in our team. And uh, Amit, can you please uh, tell us a couple of words about you? Yeah, uh, actually, it has been like 15 years for me in sales. I've been selling different SaaS products. And uh, the moment I saw Boomerang Me, it was uh, you know, I can see the value out of it. And I thought that this is the product I want to sell as well. <laughs> so that is how I joined the team and it has been like a great experience. And uh, we are uh, really excited about, you know, the future plans as well. 
So Mike is going to share everything about how it works and you know how easy it is to sell as well. So over to you, Mike. Yeah, thank you so much, Amit, and uh, welcome to team. Uh, yeah, I want to introduce you, Annie. Annie, it's our sales team person as well, and Annie also has a great experience in the sales and uh, in digital segment uh, in general. And Annie, hello and welcome to this call. Can you please uh, tell a couple of words about you? Um, hello, everyone. So my name is Annie, and I've joined uh, Boomerang uh, as a sales representative. Uh, all I want to say is we have a very strong product in the market, and we are known as number one when it comes to digital loyalty market in in you know in SMBs and enterprises. So uh, of course our CEO Mike will definitely explain everything and how we do in the back end processing of the product. And I hope that uh, you join us as soon as possible, and we are able to help you grow your business. Yeah, thank you so much, Annie. And um, so. Uh, I think we can run the general product walkthrough and I will explain you how the main features works and uh, what you can achieve with our product because uh, we are designing this product basically for local businesses to help them retain their clients, right? And uh, after two years working with SMBs directly, we realized the new way for us how we can grab the market and uh, get more customers and... Uh, we can do it through the digital marketing agencies who already serve the local businesses and help them with the digital services. Because by the all three years, our journey, I have many requests from my friends and uh, colleagues from the digital agencies as well, who are asking me every time for the white label feature, reseller feature, but we do not pay many attention for these requests by the last time, by the first two years, but right after we start selling this product globally from 2022, we understand this is the huge potential fit. And uh, I see that on the market, we have many tools for digital agencies for reselling, like email senders, SMS senders, uh, like automation services or something else. But I didn't find any loyalty program that will be designed with the white label and reseller option and uh, this is why we are here and uh, this is what we are actually doing right now so i will share in my screen and uh, show you the walkthrough of our product guys can you please uh, tell me do you see my screen all is good or maybe if you have maybe you have some problems uh, uh, yes it's we do. thank you it's yeah, perfect, guys. So uh, we are cloud-based SaaS uh, solution uh, that you can find on boomerangme.cards or boomerangme.biz domain names. And uh, right now, I just want to show you the already white-labeled demo stage, demo dashboard that I'm using for discovery calls. It's a dummy name go-to cards that I just uh, created for demonstration. And here you can see the not boomerang branding, but already white labeled solution for go-to cards, fictive brand, you know. Here is the main dashboard when you can find all information by your loyalty program. I mean, we collect more than 20 data points for your loyalty program. Starting from the main dashboard, you can see how many total visits your business have, how many returned visits, and you can compare these results with the previous period as well. We can show you the activity of the new customers and issued cards. And the main thing, it's a retention rate. It's in my demo stand. This is why this is a clear statistics. But on the working account, you can find the real growing statistics here. Here is the feedback rating. Uh, we automatically collect the feedback after each purchase of your customers after one hour via the push notification. And all customers provide you feedback. We collect this feedback and can reflect these uh, statistics here on the dashboard. We show you the top performers and uh, we also highlight you dissatisfied members who provide you one, two or three star feedback. And you can communicate with them manually to save this customer into your business. Referral program statistics, customer profile, 
we automatically track the gender of your customers uh, with AI, and uh, we are tracking this by the name and last name automatically with accuracy around 96%, device types and ages and uh, leaderboard of your clients, top 10 customers by total visits and by amount of purchases here. So basically our product uh, designed for loyalty for local businesses and uh, we are based on digital loyalty cards for digital wallets apple wallet on ios devices and uh, google pay and google wallet on android devices this is interesting thing because we are not a native mobile app like our competitors and uh, this is why our cards install 10 times faster and uh, really, really beautiful instead of any native application in the world. You can check how it works on our website, boomerangme.biz, or even I can show you the flow of card creation for your customer. You can do it easily and really quickly. So you can create different type of cards in our product. We have, uh, first of all, we have 111 design templates for most popular local business niches starting from cafes bars and restaurants and ending for rental bowling and etc etc you can use any of these templates or you can create the template from the scratch in my use case in my example we will play with the burger house template for this demo video so we have a uh, we are working a lot with the customers in the local with the local business customers and uh, we understand the main loyalty mechanics that we run for their customers this is why we have eight most popular mechanics in our product and you can easily choose one of them or even you can create the couple of mechanics and run the couple of promotions in one time with different rewards systems we have a stamp cards stamp cards it's a it's a second name is a punch cards you know that usually using in united states uh stamp cards it's a classical loyalty mechanic i would say from starbucks if you want uh, let's say collect 12 stars and get 13 coffee for free you can easily repeat this loyalty mechanic for your customers or for yourself if you're running a local business and uh you can retain your clients with the clearly understandable loyalty mechanic. So second thing, it's a reward card. Reward card is a tier-based and point-based loyalty program where you can set up any count of tiers. Like, let's say, your customer will receive the first reward after card installment. After collecting, let's say, 25 bonus points, customer will receive the second reward. After 50 bonus points, the third reward, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. With this card type, you can literally design your loyalty customer journey in your business, and uh, including gamification. Actually, customers really will be fall in love with this mechanic because they will always know what they need, what they need to achieve, what they need to collect to be rewarded next time the next thing it's a really great and uh, flexible card for memberships with this type of card you can literally design your membership vip club around your business or your customer business if you're running an agency the second thing it's a classical discount tier based also you can easily set up the bronze silver gold or maybe platinum tiers for your customers and provide them fixed discounts from all spended amounts. The next card, it's a cashback. Cashback card will be working like your classical cashback on your banking card, debit card or credit card, doesn't matter. Your customer, let's say, spent $100 and collect 5% of this amount to his bonus points balance. In this case, it would be five bonus points after the first purchase and customer can spend these bonus points with the next purchase. It means customer collect bonus points from every visit in your business and have bonus points balance that incentive this customer coming back to you again and again. These five type of cards designed especially for customer retention. These type of cards help you to get your existing clients or even the new clients 
and put them all in your loyalty loop to increase that help you increase the retention rate. By our average statistics, from 1.5 million issued cards around the world, I would say we can improve your retention rate up to two times and your retention rate in your every check up to 30%. It's, it's a great number, actually. And the most interesting thing here, you do not invest additional money for acquisition in this case. You're just working with your existing customers, right? And you get more from them. It's, it's worked beautiful. And moreover, your customer will be fall in love with this loyalty program because they will be rewarded every time when they visit in your business. Next free type of cards designed especially for customer acquisition. Obviously, if you have a local business or if you have a digital agency and uh, you running marketing campaigns in Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads to get new customers, from the digital space to your local businesses, right? And uh, usually local businesses offer some kind of discounts or rewards for the first visit to incentive customer visit their business the first time, right? Makes sense. And uh, usually agencies or business set up the marketing campaigns and using these discount or reward to get new customers from the digital ads. We digitize it and really reimagine this way to get new customers with the coupon card you can set up this coupon card with the first bonus for the first visit and put this card into your advertising and your clients potential clients will be not only leave you the leads from the digital ads but also install your loyalty cards in their phones like a native app but without any additional manual things in digital wallets so after all, we start pushing these customers via our free push notifications funnel to help them make the right decision and visit your business first time. We have the automatic push notification sequence for all coupon cards card holders. And we send these sequences automatically without any of your manual works. It means you do not need to call in by your leads from digital ads and offer them to visit your business. We can do it without you automatically. And when your customer visit your business and redeem the coupon card, we can automatically convert this card into the regular loyalty card. It can be the stamps, rewards, membership, discount, or cashback. And this is how we can convert called one-time customers from the digital ads into the regular loyal customer in your business. And for businesses and agencies, we help to solve the next really main and uh, big problem. When you run in marketing campaigns, you can understand your cost per click, cost per lead, conversion rate, but you do not know how many real people visit your business and spend the cash. You do not know your real customer acquisition cost. But with Boomerang Me product and with the coupon cards, you can do it. Because we know how many cards was been installed from the digital ads and uh, we know how many cards was been redeemed. It's your customer acquisition cost. And so next type of card, it's a multi-pass. Guys, I want to highlight you the next thing. The next webinar after, after the week, next Wednesday, we will deeply dive into the coupon card and uh, I will explain you how you can use coupon cards with your Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads campaign on even any kind of digital campaigns that you're running for your local businesses. It will be a really great webinar and uh, please attend on this webinar. You're very welcome here. So the next thing, it's a multi-pass card that works like uh, prepaid stamp cards. And usually this card using our clients in the beauty vertical, you know, it's a spa salons, it's a massage parlors, it's a nail polish salons that usually sell their services like a bulk and get money up front. For example, if uh, you're running the massage salon, you can sell 10 treatments, 10 visits up front and get money up front from customer. In this case, we can issue the multi-pass card with 10 prepaid visits and customer can spend active stamps one by one with the next visits. This is how it works. And the last 
card type that we have, the last mechanic, it's a certificate card type. Certificate works really like a prepaid debit card that you can issue to your customers, like a gift cards, you know. If you want to expand your custom, expand your customer base through your existing customers, you can offer the gift cards mechanic and uh, offer your existing customers to purchase the gift cards for their friends or maybe family. It can be a uh, it can be generally running in the holidays or even any time. It works pretty well. So in this sample, I just want to show you example how we easily can repeat the Starbucks loyalty program with our product. But in my case, it will be the burger card template for the burger house. So we choose in the mechanic on the first step. And on the next step, we can we need to fill some settings. It's not too much, but we need to set up the general terms and conditions for our loyalty promotion, right? First of all, we can choose the languages. In our product, we have 40 plus languages supported and you can learn more here and also in our knowledge base as well. You can set up the card expiration date. It's only up to you. You can run unlimited promotion and I highly recommend to use this type of card and to have at least a one general promotion that will be working all time in your business to invite your customers and um, get more repeated sales. So also you can set up the fixed term for the, for the promotion. It can be, for example, card working till the end of this year. Yes. Okay. Or you can run the promotion, especially for um, Christmas holidays for two weeks before and the holiday in the all holidays for three weeks, for example. Or you can set up the fixed term after card issuing. For each card holders, these expiration dates will be set up personally. For example, if I set up this card today and have the seven days of expiration date, my expiration date, it will be the June 14th. This is how it works. In our case, in my case, I, I would like to set up the unlimited card, unlimited uh, expiration date. The next thing, it's the uh, locations. I will be deeply dive in this uh, functionality. I think the next webinar right now, I just can tell you that we have the geolocated push notifications that really works like a game changer for local businesses. Let's imagine all your clients with the loyalty cards who walking around your business around 30, 330 feet or 100 meters will be automatically get push notifications on their log screen absolutely free and unlimited. And you can change the message on even daily daily basis. It's a free function, uh, functionality here. So I will skip this step right now and uh, let's set up the card issuing form. It actually works like your lead form for your loyalty card and uh, you can ask the personal data from your customers and uh, put this data in your CRM systems. Loyalty program is actually designed to help you digitize your customer if your local business and work with them personally. And uh, if customer want to be rewarded and uh, get bonuses from your brand, uh, customer need to pay by his personal data to you. Yes, to identify and uh, by default, we are asking for the first name, last name, phone number, and date of birth. You can delete some of these fields, but I highly recommend to save the phone number because in our service, phone number, it's a required field. And even it's a database identifier. We are checking customers by the phone number and uh, help you to avoid duplicates in our in your CRM system and in your customer base. You can add new fields. Like, for example, if you want to collect emails, you can easily to do it. And you can also check these fields on unique. It means we will be check this email in our database before we allow customer install your loyalty card with the same email or with the same phone number. The next thing is it's a UTM links. You can use the different channels to distribute your loyalty cards, right? 
you obviously have your customer base. You obviously send the SMS messages for them, email mailings for them, or maybe you run some other advertising. And uh, you can use UTM links for the different channels to measure how many customers you can onboard in your loyalty program from the each channel. For example, you can set up the Facebook UTM link and uh, Google Ads UTM link. You can copy these links and put these links into your advertising or mailing. It can be email campaign, for example. You can put this link in your campaign and easily onboard your existing customer to your new loyalty program for them. I will show you how it works a little bit after. So go ahead. The next thing is a phone mask where you can set up your main country. In my case, it will be United States. It means plus one, like a first number. Privacy policy, it's a standard thing. And uh, here you can put your analytics here. It can be the Facebook pixel code, it can be Google Analytics or something else. The next thing, it's a design, where you can set up how many stamps customer need to collect before be rewarded. As we discussed it before, we will repeat the Starbucks loyalty program in our service. In this case, we need to set up 12 stamps to get reward on the 13th visit from the customer. We can customize the active stamps and active stamps. We can use our existing images in our product, or you can even upload your PNG files to customize your card maxim maximally. The next thing, you can upload your logo type it's really easy. It's really easy. And uh, let me please show you how it works here. I need to find our logo. Yeah, sure. I prefer to use the black color logo here and easily add to my loyalty card. You can even upload your icon that will be reflected into the push notifications here on your customer's log screens. And you can change the background under the stamps if you want, or even you can use our prefilled templates in the system. You can customize all the card colors. I mean, it's a background colors, text colors, active or inactive stamps colors, and etc. And you can customize the fields under the stamp line here. In my case, by default, it's a stamps until the reward and available rewards that customer have. Last step is informational step where we need to fill the card description. It's your promotion name, actually. Get every 13th burger for a free. Here we need to fill information how customer can earn a stamp. Maybe, for example, you can add the stamp after the, let's say, 10 bucks in the check, in the bill, or maybe above the $15. It can be, it can be set up only up to you, but generally you can use our pre-filled information by anything to get a stamp in our company. Your company name, reward details, it's a free burger, in our case. And uh, the next thing, it's automated earned stamp message. It's actually your transactional push notification when uh, where customer will be received after the purchasing. And earned reward message is also the second transactional message that customer will receive after getting the reward on his, customer, on his loyalty card. The welcome stamps after the card issuing, you can set up here. For example, if you want to reward your customers just for card installation, you can set up one stamp here. And every customer who will install your loyalty card will be see one stamp on his card. Multi rewards, automatic redemption. I do not recommend to use this uh, flow for a manual work, just for the integrations with third parties. Referral program. Referral program, it's a huge 
it's a huge way for you to increase your customer base without any additional acquisition costs, right? Because referral program works through your existing customer base. You just need to set up the right incentive to your existing customers to help them, to incentive them, share their loyalty card with their friends and family. And the next thing, you can set up the terms for adding the referral rewards to the customers. We can reward referral in invitee after the first purchase by invitee in your business, or we can reward both after the cart installation. I highly recommend to use the first option because it's the most safety way for your business. I mean, when your existing customer share his loyalty card with the friend and the friend making visit in your business and make the first purchase. Only after you get money into your bank account, you will reward both clients. It's a safety way. But if you set up the card installation, you will reward both clients only after the card installation. It's up to you, but we can both options in our product. Here you can set up how many stamps will be added to refer an invitee. I mean, invitee is a customer here. You can add your active links that we will be reflecting on the card description here on the back side of the card. It can be URL, phone number, email address, or your physical address on the Google Maps. You can set up your URL. In my case, it would be our main product website, boomerangme.biz, and the with the name, it's a website here. Yes. You can create up to six active links for each card template. Feedback links. As I said before, we automatically collect the feedback after each purchase from your customers. After one hour, we send automatical free push notifications with the question, please rate your visit here. And after your customer rate your visit, you can also redirect them to your existing services in uh, Google Maps, Yellow Pages, Yelp, and others here. Or you can skip the step and just collect, collect reviews into the Boomerangmin native functionality. Terms of use, you can obviously need to customize them up to your promotion terms and conditions. In my case, it's not 10, but 12 stamps, and I just fixed this in the terms of use. You can also place the full terms and conditions on your website, and you can place the link to your website here. And here is your card issuer information. It's a burger house. It will be the company name in my case. It's your email, .gmail.com, and the phone number here. And all set. Uh, I just invest more time because I'm telling you about how it works and explain each field that we have into our card creation flow. But if you going through this flow one time, you can create each card template just in five minutes. It's easiest to use. And we already create the promotion like in the Starbucks for Burger House when every customer can get every 13 burger for a free. Uh, if you have your phones around you, you can easily scan this QR code by the default camera application from your device and install this demo card to your device to check how it works. And I highly recommend to do this because uh, it's a main flow that we have in our product. And this is the main flow that we pay many attention to polish this flow up to the shine, you know. It's its easiest way. Right now, you can copy the link on the cart installation and distribute this link as well in your channels. You can place this link in uh, with the QR code in your local store, just printing the table tent in A4, maybe A5 format and place near your cashier zone or even on the tables, you know. Uh, you can print the circle stickers with the QR code and the promotion terms and uh, stick the stickers on the doors, tables, anywhere. And also you can share this card with your channels, existing channels, with your social media, with your email listings, email mailings, SMS mailings, or something else. It's all things available. Cards already set. Right now you can start issuing these loyalty cards 
and collect your customers in your customer base here. Here is your customer base where you can open each customer and see his traction. Was the cards has customer inst already installed? What's the traction each card have? How many stamps earned by customer? How many rewards customer have? It's actually Amit's card, Amit's. Uh, do, do you hear already? Uh, yes, I'm here. I just installed it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> amazing. So, and uh, we can add additional free stamps to Amit by the last visit, for example. And we can easily do it remotely from the dashboard. It, it works pretty well. Here is additional statistics here and the list of the last transactions that we can understand the customer performance in your business with the loyalty cards. We can send the personal push notification to each emit card. We can choose one, fill the message. And uh, I highly recommend to use emojis because emojis works like a e catcher for your customers to pay attention for these push notifications you need to know that push notifications it's a absolutely free and unlimited way to communicate with your customers without any spend for sms and emails it's it's a beautiful way to push them and work in them yeah next thing we have a massive bulk push notifications mailing for all card holders here. We can choose the card template, choose the customer segment, fill the message and send and track the delivery and open rate in our history. And uh, we can create the managers for salesperson and scanner app. I think I will describe how it works in the next webinars. And uh, I think to avoid your boring on this webinar, we can discuss and uh, talking about these features, what do you think about this guy? Yeah, I think that's great. Uh, if uh, Mike, uh, if uh, I, I'm just curious about the coupon uh, because uh, the acquisition that is coming through uh, maybe the Facebook ads or the, uh, you know, the Google ads, so how uh, it is going to change later on to a different card? Yeah, so uh, right question. It works absolutely automatically. When customer redeem the coupon card in the local store, we can automatically convert coupon card into the regular card. I can show you just an example how it works. And uh, I, think, I think it's a beautiful way to convert your one-time clients into the regulars and... Uh, we can check here again. Yes. So first of all, we need to set up the coupon card, for example, for this existing burger house again. And uh, we can offer, for example, 10 bucks of coupon for the first visit to the new customers, right? And uh, I highly recommend to use the fixed term after card issuing the coupon card type because if customer have unlimited coupon card forever it doesn't incentive him to visit business quickly right we can set up for example seven days after the card installment with the 10 bucks of coupon for the next visit and we can hear link the next card template that we will convert in our case it's a burger house yes here is it so we also can customize card issuing form and other fields and i highly recommend to fill here your facebook pixel code and google analytics to track statistics by this card already set card created activated and we can use this card link in your Facebook or Google ads. As, as I said before, we will deeply dive in this card template on the next webinar. And uh, I will show you how to set up the different and really interesting mechanics for your digital ads. Great. So, yeah. Uh, 
what we what what I want to discuss with you on this webinar as well today, because uh, we are designing this product for agencies, as I said before, right? First two years we're working with SMBs directly and uh, collect many many statistics, data, and insights for them. We are polishing the main loyalty product with the loyalty cards, card installations, push delivery, or something else. But right after this, right after we start selling our product globally on international market, we understand that many, many agencies who help local businesses want to get this product in their portfolio to upsell their customers, get more revenue and uh, help them become successful, right? And so let me please show you the overview of the agency account. It's a branded new feature that we added, let's say seven months ago. And uh, we are regularly improving and uh, <coughs> scaling this product inside our main product. Here is the reseller account dashboard. When you can track your clients, your sub account statistics, I mean, not loyalty statistics, but statistics uh, of payments for your service, for your loyalty product. Again, right now we see the white label dashboards on go to cards. And uh, you can set up your own white labels easily in 15 minutes in the settings here. You just need to set up the white, open the white label, add your domain name, customize your dashboard, customize your scanner application. We will talk about scanner application a little bit after on the next webinars. And I will explain you how you can work in with this product standalone without integration with third parties. And obviously, we will discuss third parties integrations as well in the future. We also automatically generate the promotional page for your white label product, and uh, it works pretty well. I will show you how it works right now, please. The next screen here. Yes, this is automatically generated landing page for your white label loyalty program with your domain name, with your colors and with explanation of the main things of the product. What card types we have in the product, how works with the scanner application for standalone solution, telling about the push notification types that we have into the product. And uh, this is your pricing. You can customize your pricing, currencies, and uh, you can see your pricing here in your landing page and you can easily share your link for the landing page to your customers and invite them to start their free trial for classical 14 days. We have API and webhooks. You can easily automate any workflows with Boomerang Me with your favorite tools that you're using daily in your agency, like Go High Level, Active Campaign, Click Funnels, ManyChat. Toast, Clover, MailChimp, and something else. And uh, our badges, our medals from G2, you can use for your brand as well because it's a it's a one product, you know. But the, the under the different brands, but uh, these uh, medals regarding to our common product as well, you can use it without any problems. So coming back to the agency account, and uh, I will show you the short overview, as I said before, what you can see, see here. Let me show you the right screen. Yes. So after all settings for your white label, you can set up your plans. We have a free standard plans for selling. It's a we, we name it the Start, Grow, and Business. And you can customize the name up to you. In this case, it's a Bronze, Second, and Third. And you can customize the name, currency, payment pricing for yearly plan, quarterly plan, and monthly plan. And you can see the functionality of all plans here and the comparison in this table. These plans will be reflected in your customer's sub-account under your brand and under your domain name. So the next thing, after you finish, complete your white label settings, you can create sub-accounts for your customers and invite them to using loyalty program, right? You can do it easily in the sub into the sub-account section. You can easily add the new sub-account 
just fill in the personal information of the client here, set up the plan, set up the trial period. You can create unlimited count of free trials for 14 days without any fees or obligations for our site, just to be able your customers to play with the platform, you know, and understand how it works. And so you can authorize like any sub account here and help your customers to set up loyalty program. And also you can charge for this work for setup fees, onboarding fees. And uh, after you can charge for success fees here. Right now we can see the Boomerang Me product from the customer's points of view, you know, right? Like your customer watching on your product in your dashboard. You can help them to create loyalty card you can help them to prepare marketing materials. And after all, customer can log in into your domain name, into your dashboard and see his traction here, like without any your contribution here, like uh, on self-service. It works also pretty easy and pretty well. Coming back to admin account. And uh, yeah, we will obviously pay many attention for these functionality in the future webinars. And uh, we will discuss how we can customize the dashboard, how we can customize the payments, and also interesting things, how we can automate the sub-accounts creation from any third parties. For example, if you charge your customers in your accounting system, you can get the web rules from these systems, create the new sub-account for a customer, set up the plan, set up the expiration date, and automatically send the login details to your customers under your sender name by email or even by SMS. It's also available in our product as well. But uh, I do not want to cover all things in the first webinar. It's, uh, it, it's not a main idea to our discussion right now today. So it's just a highlighting. It's a just a top view, overview of the main features that we have into the product. And uh, yeah, coming back to you guys, if you have any questions, um, we have 11 minutes before ending. I think this is the right time to turn on your cameras and my microphones and uh, run in Q&A section. Maybe, you, maybe you, want, you want to ask something here. Um, sorry, I think uh, there is a question from Arin. So if you can just uh, have a look in the chat. Yeah, sure. Arian says, interesting, very good use case for my customers. I can see grid expansion. Can the data like active customers, average customer spend customer who have bad reviews, ATC, be exported? Yes, of course. You can get all the data by API anytime using Zapier, Publi, Integrately, or even other no-code integration platforms, or even the native webhooks or native API codes. Or even you can export this data with the XLS, not CSV in our file, in our case, but XLS works pretty well. You can download any reports anytime that will be get all customer data, transactional history or something else. And you can share these reports with your customers anytime. Or even just uh, you need to provide the login details to your customers and they can log in into your dashboard under your domain name and see their statistics statistics by themselves right you do not need to do it manually you know it works pretty well thank i think i covered you, this question yeah thank you annie for highlighting thank you, thank you arian for the right question ali asking every anyway asking the same about the export data yes export all export available in our product Jose asking, hi Mike, I meet an any. First question, can we establish an expiration date uh, for the redemption? So yes, you can set up the expiration date for the redemption. It should be the card expiration date generally, right? If customer cannot redeem the card in the right time in the seven days, like in my case, card will be expired and customer cannot redeem this card anymore, right? It's... Uh, it's 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 obvious case and uh, obviously we have this functionality again. I think it's the right actually incentive to uh, 
get your customer into the local business for, because uh, if customer just leave you a lead from Facebook, it 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 not um, it not means that customer ready to visit your business, right? And you need to incentive customer to visit your business in the short term because before customer forget about your offer and you can do it easily with the coupon cards. It's, it's a beautiful way. Also, guys, uh, to learn more how it works, I just uh, want to move you on our website and see the use case section on our website. We prepared a beautiful explanation how it works with the uh, beautiful charts that you can learn on our website here just want to show you when you can find where you can find this data boomerangme.biz our main product website use case section and uh, this is the pages that will be explaining you how you can use boomerangme for facebook instagram ads and google ads please open this page and uh, check how it works here is my video explanation how you can easily create the coupon card, but uh, we plan to tell you a little bit more and deeper next week, next Wednesday. And uh, here you can find the charts, the graphics, where, uh, what explain you how it works uh, step by step. It works pretty well. And I think I, I think it's uh, clearly data, clearly information that you can get from our main website. So yeah, yeah. Ariane asking again, uh, where can we add setup fees charging if we needed to set up the dashboard for the customer? This will be added as a manual cost for them outside the dashboard. Second thing, Ariane, it should be the additional outside payment from your customers because we allow you to set up the subscription fees for the platform, but you can charge your customers in additional in your accounting system for setup fees, onboarding fees, support fees, or even a success fees because I know many agencies have a commitments with their clients for a success. Be just for example, uh, if we can issue 1000 loyalty cards by the end of this year, we will be get some reward from the brand. Why it makes sense? Uh, what I mean under the 1,000 issued loyalty cards, it means you can deliver 1,000 regular loyal customer to local business. It's worth it. It makes sense to be rewarded from the brand and uh, you can get additional bonus from the brand by this. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, but Mike, I think they can uh, maybe customize the package and make a new package with the setup cost so that they can pay directly. Yeah, you, you actually, you're absolutely right. I mean, because yeah. uh, many agencies using our product like a part of their existing packages right. using go high level, email mailings, yeah. SMS mailings, additional products, uh, chatbot builders, or even any IT products for businesses. Boomerang me can be a part of this package for local businesses. Obviously, right. yes. Jose asking to create cards in different languages. Must we create, for instance, two different cards or is there a way for the final consumer to select the preferred language? So we can create just a card in one language. If you want to run the multi-languages card, you need to create two templates. For example, if uh, it's a English or and second thing it's a Spanish language you need to have a two templates unfortunately right now we do not have this customization but thank you so much for the interesting idea I think it uh, it will be looks pretty good in our roadmap for the future guys right question about the roadmap we have a beautiful and strong development team and uh, we're publishing updates uh, every week, usually two times per week, and you can find our roadmap in the roadmap at boomerangme.boomerangme.cards. I will show you the link. And uh, you can subscribe on our updates, on our product updates here. Let me please share you where you can find this data. 
yeah, this is it. Here is our roadmap. And uh, here you can see what we are doing right now, what we plan to do next in the near future. And uh, in, the, uh, in the far future, we plan to add these features into the product. You can subscribe on our updates here into update section, subscribe for updates. It's, it's, it's not a highlighted button, but please pay attention for this thing. Name, email, it's enough to be subscribed on our updates. And also you can send us your ideas and you can vote the main ideas from our community, from our existing customers. And you can see that we have uh, really many ideas from our existing clients and you can vote for them and move them up into our own map. Yeah, uh, Ariane says, thank you for the answers. Very useful webinar for our company. Thank you, Annie. And thank you all. Looking forward to, my, to more such webinars with more deep dive into agency dashboard. Yeah, of course. I do not want to uh, tell you about anything in one hour. It's impossible, unfortunately. And uh, yes, please stay in touch on our weekly webinars and uh, we will explain all features, basic and uh, interesting things. And uh, actually uh, we plan to deeply dive into the use cases and ideas. Just today on today's meeting, we explain you how you can repeat, easily repeat the Starbucks loyalty program in Boomerang Me. And we will be copy and explain you how you can repeat the big brands loyalty programs easily in Boomerang Me for your small local business clients. Yes, guys, I think, I think it's enough for the first meeting. Uh, I'm happy to see you all on this webinar. Thank you, Amit and Annie, for co-hosting this webinar, for your questions. And uh, yeah, see you next week. And uh, stay in touch, guys. This recording will be available on our website into the footer section. Please find the link webinars and uh, stay in touch. See you next week. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank everyone, you, for joining. Have a great evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.